Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. Vitamins and minerals allows our body to grow, to thrive, to repair, to live, to have a healthy life by allowing our internal system to stay as healthy as possible. With all the technology over the years, now we have tablets and capsules and all kinds of vitamins and minerals that are on the counter. But many of us don't take these vitamins and I'm going to explain why you may need to. These vitamins make our metabolism run, helps build bone, blood, tissue and muscle. It makes it possible for our brain to produce the proper hormones. Our immune system greatly depends on these vitamins and minerals as well as your fitness. Regardless if you're working out, running or swimming, you need those vitamins and minerals as well. These vitamins are water soluble and others are fat soluble. Now water soluble vitamins pass quickly through the body and are eliminated, meaning that we have to eat those every day. Our fat soluble vitamins can only be processed if we eat fat. Fat carries these vitamins around the body and stores them in their own fatty tissues. Now these fat soluble vitamins take longer to become eliminated from the body. So we don't need those vitamins every day, but we still need them. Now minerals come from rocks and dirt within the earth. There are many of them. We only need about 16. Out of those 16, seven of those are what we consider major minerals. We need a lot of those. The rest are considered trace minerals and we don't need as much. These minerals keep the fluid balance of our body correct, assisting our muscles to contract, helping our nerves send the right signal, helping blood clotting and sending oxygen through our blood. Now those minerals allow hundreds of bodily functions to occur. It's so important for our immune system. The minerals are found in dairy and milk, in seeds and nuts, as well as green plants. But the problem here is how do we know we're getting those minerals? We as humans are not 100% efficient at metabolizing our vegetables and we're completely unable to properly digest cellulose. For example, grass is a type of cellulose. Animals like sheep and cows can digest that cellulose. They can eat that grass. They can get all the nutrients inside their bodies and obviously it's stored within them. So we depend on those animals to get those nutrients. So what about the millions and millions of factory farmed animals eating a poor diet? We're depending on those animals to get our nutrients. And what about the depleted soil? That soil that doesn't have nutrients in there that's growing those beautiful crops, our bodies are being robbed. So let's say that you're not the healthiest eater and you're eating lots of processed foods, fried foods, and once in a while you'll say, you know what, I'm gonna eat those vegetables or I'm gonna eat some meat. But the question is, are you really getting those nutrients? Your body can't afford not to. So how do we know what foods to eat to get the right nutrients? How can we tell? We can't. It's unfortunate what we can do to a vegetable to give it that pretty color. Putting two carrots side by side, how do I know I'm getting my vitamin A from the beta carotene, my vitamin K, my biotin? How do I know what I'm actually getting? I don't. Just because it looks pretty, don't be fooled. I understand that we can only do our best to stay proactive, to find the right fruits or vegetables or foods that's good for our bodies. We can't afford not to get those nutrients. I ask you to please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.